Brake fluid comes in a lot of flavors. You got your old school dot three, you got your dot four, your dot five, and then you got your uh, your dot 5.1. Now, you're probably wondering, what's the difference and which one tastes best to your brake system? I'll break it down for you in this video from the MC Garage. Everyone likes to brag about horsepower and going fast, but we all know that stopping is just as important, and brake fluid is the magic elixir that allows it to happen. Brake fluid is responsible for transmitting pressure from the brake lever on down to the back of the brake pads. The fluid needs to be non-compressible in order to effectively transfer force, it needs to have a low viscosity in order to be compatible with ABS, it needs to offer lubricity to lubricate the seals in the master cylinder and the caliper, it's got to offer corrosion resistance, and it's got to have a really high boiling point. That's a lot of responsibility, and some fluids are more responsible than others. Brake fluid comes in four flavors. There's .3, 4, 5, and 5.1. We don't have any .3 here because it's an outdated formula, and this is the MC Garage. We've only got the best stuff. When it comes down to it, the difference between these brake fluids is pretty simple. .3, 4, and 5.1 fluids are glycol-based and can be mixed together. But .5 fluid is silicone-based and can't be mixed with any other type of brake fluid. Dot 5.1 confuses people because of its proximity to dot 5, which is silicone based. Honestly, mechanics lives would be so much easier if it was just called dot 6 or even dot 4.5. All right, so you've got two different chemistries when it comes to brake fluid. What's the difference there? Well, the glycol based stuff is hydrophilic, meaning it will attract and draw moisture out of the air. Meanwhile, dot 5, the silicone stuff, is hydrophobic, so it will not attract moisture and therefore it has a much longer service life. Also, while the glycol fluids are infamous for damaging painted surfaces, DOT5 is totally harmless to paint. If you're thinking DOT5 sounds really appealing right now, think again. DOT5's price, its compressibility, and its viscosity make it unsuitable for modern motorcycles. So why does it exist? It was created for the military to use in vehicles that are going to sit for years at a time. Harley-Davidson did use DOT5 up until about 10 years ago, but now that all of their bikes have ABS, they specified DOT4. Okay, back to the more common glycol-based fluids then. The difference between DOT3, DOT4, and DOT5.1 comes down to boiling point. The higher the boiling point, the more abuse and the more heat the fluid can take. The type of fluid your bike needs is going to be printed right on top of the master cylinder. The Department of Transportation sets minimums for each grade's dry and wet boiling point. Dry is with no water in the fluid whatsoever, whereas wet is with 3.7% water as is common after a year of use. Dot 3 has the lowest boiling point, 400 degrees dry and about 280 degrees wet. 5.1 has the highest at about 520 degrees dry and about 360 degrees wet. Racing fluid, like this stuff here, is essentially dot 5.1 on steroids with an even higher boiling point. As those temperature ratings suggest, any water in the brake fluid is going to lower its boiling point. And if you boil your brake fluid, you're going to get a spongy lever and it's going to be a lot harder to stop your bike. That is why it is important to bleed your brakes regularly. Once every two years is pretty standard. And if you are a beast in the brakes, you might as well take the opportunity to upgrade your brake fluid the next time you bleed the system. Lucky for you, we've got a video that shows you how. All right, there you have it, the breakdown on brake fluid. All that talking's got me thirsty, so uh, which one did I put the water in? Yeah. Uh, of course, you should never drink brake fluid. That's obvious, but if you have any other concerns, any questions, any comments, leave them below, and we'll see you next time.